I need this. I don't have enough strain with that paternity suit. I need to stay up all night. Bob, Bert and Mary haven't even seen each other in days. They miss each other. They're animals. <laughs> an idiot. something different every day. Oh, uh, that's what I mean. I'll have a little bit of everything. Hi. Pervert. Hi, Dad. Hi. You know something? You remind me of my brother. You don't have a brother. Oh, uh, well, no, I meant my fraternity brother. He reminds me of my fraternity brother. <laughs> You were in a fraternity? Oh, yeah, sure. All the popular guys were. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you didn't go to college. Well, well, it wasn't a college fraternity. It was a construction fraternity. <laughs> Good God, what is that? The toaster. Right. Toaster. That's hot dry bread. <laughs> Mary! Hi, Jesse. Oh, Bert! You're home. No wonder. <laughs> Welcome home, Bert. Hi, Mary. Hi, Don. Oh, hubba, hubba. Uh, tell me about it. <laughs> What's happening with Billy? Have you heard anything? No, not yet. They're all hiding out as Negroes until it gets dark. <laughs> and Chester, by the way, looks wonderful as a Negro. It, it goes so well with his hair. <laughs> It's a wonder she doesn't tip over. She can fall on me any time. <laughs> you little guy. <laughs> uh, have you heard from Danny? Danny? Mm. My stepson from my wife's first marriage. <laughs> no, but I have to assume he's okay. I mean, we checked with the police, the hospitals, and the morgue. Uh, Mary. Uh, do you have any plans for after breakfast? Yes. Do they include getting naked? No, they don't. Come on, just a little bit. Come on. <laughs> go to work. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. But, uh, get some rest. I'm coming home for lunch. Mm. Bye, Bert. Bye, Jess. <laughs> My goodness, Bert's very exuberant this morning. <laughs> Slow down, your steps are too big. It's a pair of legs, pal. Gonna be thinking to the All right, through that door. Hey, come on, guys. Come on. Listen, I, come on, listen, I can. Listen, you don't understand. My wife's really, she really gets very upset. Hey, pal, hey, I'm entitled to one phone call, you know. The bunk on the bottom belongs to me. Good. Also, the front of the closet belongs to me. Good, right. And in the morning, I'm the first one in the bedroom. No, I don't care. I'm Saul. Bert, how long have you been here? 4,000 years. You're looking good. I never eat salty foods. 
Yeah, no, I, I, I have, how long have you been here? 4,000 years. Hey, uh, Basol, hey, so I swear, listen, when they captured you, they didn't tell you they're going to let you go soon? Yeah. They have no concept of time. They say, wait a second, two or three centuries whiz by whoop. <laughs> Fortunately, no one gets older here. No one gets older. What do you mean, no one gets older here? Look, look at me. Look at me. I'm 4,064 years old. What do you think I owe it to a terrific moisturizer? I don't understand. I mean, what do they want us for? What were you doing when they captured you? I was a writer. I was collaborating on the Bible. Bible? Exodus. Oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You didn't write Exodus. Hey, I saw Exodus. Otto Preminger wrote it. Okay, now listen. It was, it was Eve Marie Saint and Sal Minio. What I... are you talking about, Sal Minio? I'm talking about Exodus. The real McCoy. Moses. <laughs> Moses? Yeah, Moses. <laughs> oh, right. Well... <laughs> This is uh, so all excuse me, but I gotta get going because my wife's gonna be worried sick. Your wife? I told my wife I was going out for some camels. That was 4,000 years ago. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Excuse me, Saul. Uh, you guys got anything in the way of a single room? <laughs> Come over here, listen. Bye. This... You think I'm crazy. <laughs> No, come on. <laughs> uh, you're perfectly sane, a 4,000-year-old man who knew Moses. <laughs> I didn't know Moses. <laughs> My wife was two years behind him in school. <laughs> this is terrific. I'm in outer space with a lunatic. Mm, a lunatic. Listen, listen, right. Although I am known for my delightful sense of humor, this is no joke. They captured me just like they captured you. I am not a lunatic. They are a very advanced people. You saw how they beamed you up. Well, they abolished aging. Sometimes I wish I was a lunatic and then this wouldn't be real and we would stand a chance. Yeah, well, I'm not staying here, pal. I'm going to escape. But I've been trying to escape for 4,000 years. No one has ever gotten away from here. No one ever. You might as well relax, boys. You're here to stay forever. <laughs> What's the matter here? What is this, another physical here? <laughs> hmm. What? What's that? Hmm? 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 What's... What are you... Hmm? <laughs> oh, something's wrong? You found what? Well, I said, well, tell me it's well, my heart. What? You're my heart? Wait, wait a minute. Are you a cardiologist? <laughs> Listen to me. I'm asking a little silver man if he's a cardiologist. Please. This is our standard physical. Not to worry. Again, no. <laughs> you can't keep capturing people like this. We are not butterflies. Look at this. This is what you do to a poison? The man just had a Denver omelet for breakfast. <laughs> Listen, let him go. It isn't fair. He's got a wife, a family. So, 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 you know better than that. Look what you do to people, disrupt their lives, break up their families. My poor wife, God only knows how she has taken my disappearance. So your wife died. Oh, my God, man! 3,783 years ago. Bad news travels fast. <laughs> 3,783 years ago. Yes. I should be over it by now. I am so sorry, Saul. I'm a widower? Yes. I've been a widower for 3,783 years, and all this time I thought I was being faithful. Mr. Campbell, I am sorry that we cannot let you go. That would be impossible. But I hope you can be happy here. It may help you to know that here, we live forever. Oh, yeah, through a great selling point. Immortality on a spaceship. Who cares? <laughs> Listen, I've been thinking. I've decided to help you. Do what? Do what? Flick chickens. <laughs> to help you escape, you schmageddy. Escape? No, wait. So, so, listen, you can do this? Come on, I'll try. Oh, where are we going? The beaming room. Maybe we can beam ourselves down. Oh. 
Sit down, Bert. <laughs> I'm not even straight and oh yeah, uh, come on. Yeah. Hey, you're losing your elbow. I am not. You are too. I'm not. Hey, Bert, watch him, would you? Okay. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, <laughs> uh, you see that? See, everybody always looks down on us little guys. Turns out we're stronger. Yeah. We? Yeah. Little people, Dad? Yes. Like him. Well, when I was a kid, I was short. I was... Good morning, everyone. Hi, Bert. Oh. She stops my heart every time. Hi, Mary. Hi, Jess. Mary, what did you want to talk to me about? Nothing. But, Mary, you said on the phone you wanted... Nothing. Oh, a recipe. I wanted a recipe. For what? Nothing. I decided not to cook it. Cook what? Nothing. We're not eating. Mary. I'll be home for lunch today. I won't. You won't? No. Oh. You busy for lunch? <laughs> Well, then, let's make it uh, an early dinner, then, huh? Mm. Mm. See you at dinner. Oh, yes. <laughs> Chuck, if you're finished, I'd like to speak to Jessica alone. Oh, sure, Mary, yeah. Hey, I'm not done yet. Well, come on, Bob. Look, if I eat too fast, I get gas. That's because you swallow air. <laughs> Chuck, get out. Hey, they're going to talk about sex, aren't they? That's what they're going to talk about. I mean, she does it all night and talks about it all day. <laughs> That's not what I'm talking about. I don't mean that he's a different man. I mean, he is another man. It's not Bert at all. Well, whoever he is, he's doing a remarkable imitation. <laughs> Looks like Bert, sounds like Bert, acts like Bert, but I think it isn't Bert. I see. <laughs> and do you also laugh and cry a lot for no reason? <laughs> Do you think they saw us? No, they're too busy polishing their heads. <laughs> well, here we are, the beaming room. What are you... Come here. Let's get out of here. What are you, crazy? Wait a second. Where are you going? So please, you don't know how to work this machine. There's a thousand buttons here. By the, by the, by the. <laughs> I've been here 4,000 years. What do you think I've been doing? Two, three thousand years ago, I finished all the magazines. I walked around, I absorbed. I know how to do this. You sure? Trust me, I will now hit the activating switch. <laughs> Light switch, just testing. No, not just testing. You don't know what you're doing. You're just going to hit buttons. No, 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 no. What did I do? I think you just blew up Saturn. It doesn't matter. Listen, we haven't got a lot of time. Get in the cylinder. Just wait a minute. Are you sure you know what you're doing? I'm sure, I'm sure. I've watched them do it eight, nine hundred years. You get in, I'll punch into the directions, and immediately you will be beamed on, and I will be right behind you. I, I know what you I know what Have a delightful journey. How do you like the 
Why? Where am I? Who is that? Who beats Bert? Where are you? I don't know. <laughs> what do you see? What does it look like where you are? Black. Just black. You beamed me to black. <laughs> You're probably someplace and it's nighttime. No, no, it's no place. I'm telling you, it's black. I'm in black. Get me out of here. I hate it. <laughs> all right, all right. Get back in the cylinder. I don't know which is worse, this or an English car. <laughs> black? You beat me to black? A simple mistake. <laughs> hey, it could have been voice. I could have beamed you to the Lincoln Tunnel during the rush hour. <laughs> Now get back in. No, no, no. I'm not going in. Listen, I, I, I said the delay, and I'm coming with you. Now, come on. Wait, what do I got for a pilot, Mr. Magoo? Come on. Black, everyone, black.